You sit down, Susie. I'll get you tea. Piece of cake. Yes, thanks. Oh, what about poor little me? All right, Ada. I'll get yours. I'm really too hot to eat, Sid, but uh, I'll just have a couple of donuts and some paste sandwiches and a piece of cake, please. If Sam leaves any. OK. <laughs> oh, Mrs Ritchie, has he come back yet? I've told you, Ginger, I haven't seen Charlie since dinner time. Would you like me to give you a hand, then? Oh, thanks, Mr Old. And you don't know where he is now, Mrs Ritchie? I only wish I did know where that lad gets to half the time. Oh, well, I'll pop back later to tell. Well, that'll be seven minutes, please, Sam. Oh, Mr. All, that couple over there with Susie want to join the club. All right. Now, will you take care of it, please, Sam? Oh, yeah, I will. There we are. Thanks. Thank you, love. Right. Afternoon. I'm Sam Walters, captain of club. Have you come to join us? Oh, that's the idea. Champ, you can fix us up. Uh, I'm Bert Gardner. Oh, pleased to meet you, Bert. And that's my wife, Kelly. How do you do, Mrs. Gardner? Look, and this is Georgie Gardner. Oh, hello, Georgie. Look, Sam, you can walk. Come on, Georgie. Hey, so he can. <laughs> Look, everybody. Georgie Gardner, the first member of the junior section of the Wakeford Wheelers. <laughs> Sit down, Bert. Make yourself a do. Are you a racing man, Bert? Oh, done a bit. Oh, road racing? What's your best? Oh, just for the war, I got a second in the Seven Valley Grand Prix. Hmm, that's a big race. What club did you ride for? Oh, uh, London Club. Uh, you wouldn't know it. Ah, I thought you weren't from round here. Look, you may be able to help us. We were just talking about next Sunday's race. 
It's a sort of a trial run for the North British Championship. That's our biggest event up here. We thought that... Uh... Sam, before you get drowned in your tactics... Oh, are you off soon? It's early yet. I must go home and change. I've got some shopping to do before they close. Oh, all right. We'll see you later. So oh, Sam, do you trust her to go home on her own? Of course he does, Ada. We're not all like you, dear. <laughs> Steve, I forgot loan club. Here's the sweets. Oh, give it to Nan, will you, Susie? Aye. That brings me right up to date, I think, Nan. Easy way of paying for holiday. Not many more weeks to Whitson now. Aye, then we'll take it all out and have a right good do. Thanks, Nan. So long. Goodbye, Susie. Oh, Steve, take that tray through the kitchen for me, will you, while I clear up inside? All right. Give us a bucket and a mop and I'll scrub out the old shop for you. There's no need if you don't want, Steve Hall. Yeah, give us tray and stop your chatter, woman. Oh, Nan, have you got some soda? Charlie, what are you doing? It's all right, Mum, I... I didn't want to borrow two bob to take Ginger out the pictures. Oh, Charlie, why didn't you ask me? Well, I didn't want to bother you, Mum. I know how busy you are. But that's not my money, Charlie. Well, I'd have put it back in the morning. What difference would it have made? Charlie, if I give you two shillings just this once, will you promise me never to go near that money again? It's club money and I'm responsible for it. Thanks, Mum. I'll give it back to you honest. I don't know who you take after. Go on. And don't be late. Oh, Charlie, before you go... Can't stop now, Mum. Ginger's waiting. Hello, Ginger. I'm sorry, I, I can't make it tonight. I'm busy. Steve... I know, Nan. I saw. It's ever since we moved from London. When his dad was killed, I... I haven't been able to hold him. You know what that lad needs? Oh, he's a... only a kid yet, Steve. I know. All the same, he wants watching. Thanks. Thank you, lady. Good afternoon. Oh! What the? Don't you cyclists ever think of ringing your... Well, that's the limit. You jump straight in front of me. Well, hello. I'm sorry if it was my mistake. Get off that bike. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I suppose you think you own the road. What? My car's not even on the road. You all right? Yes, I'm all right. Oh, well, uh, let's see what damage you've done to the bike. What I've done? Your buckled mud got good and proper. Your pedal tank's bent. Oh, let's have a go. I might be able to straighten. Don't you touch it. You've done enough damage. I'm sorry. Are these yours? <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. Look, let's, uh, let's take long to a shop and have it mended. Oh, you needn't bother. Just give me your name and address. I'll send you the bill. Oh, no. Let's take long now. Do you know a good place? Well, Bill Martin's best place. Mm -hmm. Come on, then. Excuse us, please. Uh, what about car, sir? I'll be back later. Oh, all right. This way. You know, I really am very sorry this happened. I dare say it was all my fault. Oh, that's all right. No bones broken, so don't worry. <laughs> but watch out for that bike. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, look at the little lungs. Isn't he sweet? Hi, miss. He'll make a wonderful watchdog when he grows up. they got Alsatian blood in him, they has. I am sharp teeth, too. <laughs> Wouldn't you like this little fellow here? Don't be so daft. What would I do with a dog? No, but seriously. After all, I did bust up your bike. Aye, and you'll get it mended, too. Come along. How much are they? Ten bob to you, sir. Right. Here. Thank you, sir. Here, come on. Come on. Thanks. Hey, wait a minute. Look. But you're a real daft. I'm not taking him. Well, then, uh, carry him for me. All right. But well, that's all I will do. Uh -huh. <laughs> Hello, Frankie. 
today, Mr. Marty. Okay, hey, last seems a bit off colour, Frankie. I noticed that, Dad. Must be the hot weather. Um, I've come about the money, Mr. Mine. Here's our little mate again. Come about the money, Frankie. Ah. Um, I haven't got it yet. He hasn't got it yet. Ah. But I will get it. Honest. Here's two bob. Two bob from six quid leave five pound eighteen. That's no use to me. But I will get it. He says he'll get it. Ah, he's been saying that for weeks. But I will. What are we going to do with him, Frankie? Tell his mother or go to the police? The police don't like young lads that gamble. They put him in institutions. But I will get it. Ah, you'd better than sharp about it. You go betting, you've got to pay up. Now, give me that two bob. I'll put this on Gay Lass for you. She's running Monday. It might help a bit. Now, go on, get off. I'll go. OK. Oh, hello, Susie. What's the trouble? A crank's bent, and I think the front wheel's out a bit, too. Ah, I've been having an argument with the car. Ah, that's right. Mm. When can you get it done? Well, say, Monday dinner time. How much will it be? Well, to you, say, um, 15 bob. 15 bob? That's all right. Here you are. Well, OK, if you like, chucking your brass about. This is nice, Bill. Ah, one of the ladies' racing jobs. Designed special for the Olympic Games. Look at that fine cutaway there. What's the weight? 20 pounds, just under. I like the chain set. Don't think I've seen fluted cranks like that before. Nay, hey, that's something quite new, that is. Mm, it's nice. It's just like any other bicycle to me. What do you know about cycling, anyway? Nothing. I don't want to, thanks. You don't know what you're missing. What? Careering all over the countryside with your head down and your tail up. Well, it's better than roaring round shut up in a box on wheels. But you can't like cycling, seriously. I mean, cyclists are a bit of a menace, aren't they? You'd know that if you drove a car. Well, that's the limit. Here, carry your own dog. <laughs> that's Susie Bates all over, you know. They say that she's the same at Melville. But, uh, I like a girl with a bit of spirit myself. She works at the mill, does she? Ah, uh, Ford Mill, I think it is. The big one down my bridge. Thanks. There's no need to get so excited, Joe. I warned you he was excitable. I am not getting excited, but I haven't got a blooming sweet in my mouth since rationing begun. She always pinches me coupons. Dear, I did warn you, Nelly. Take the notice, Mother. You don't like sweets, any Rose. It's the principle of the thing. The government gives coupons to me, not your mother. Don't be so daft, Joe. A big chap like you going on about a few sweets. Ah, <coughs> Dad, A purple. few sweets. I wouldn't mind if you weren't all a sucking them in front of me face. Suck, suck, suck. Yeah, what are you doing? Dad, Dad, you shut up. There's no need to take it out of the kid. Never mind the kid. What about my rations? Shut up, Norman. I knew he were a bully first time I clapped eyes on him. Well, it's a pity you didn't say so, then. And stop sucking that sweet. I do, so. Hello, Dad. Who'd be a lodger in this house? She'll suck if she likes. Suck away, Mother. Are you sops up enough ale? Hello, so love. Oh, you late? so I'm begrudged me pint now, am I? Shut up, <laughs> Norman. Well, let's go in front room. It's murder here. Where's the monastics? I've never been welcome here. Well, there's the blooming door. That's right. Turn my mother out into the rain. I am not turning her out, and it's not meaning none neither. Oh, shut up. Don't you start. Lie down. What kept you, Sue? I had a bit of an accident. Nothing much. <gasps> Who's that? You can't come in here. Mary, you on your own? Wait, lights out. Don't be so silly. Willie's here with me, aren't you, Willie, love? Aye. Do you want all the front room? Oh, can't you go somewhere else? Where else? Oh, come on, Sue. Never mind the argument. Willie's telling me fortune, aren't you, Willie? Aye. Oh, is that what they call it now? Oh, it's the stairs again. It's about as peaceful here as Marketplace on Saturday. Did you hurt yourself, Lou? No, the bike got bent a bit, that's all. Sue, so we've got to do something. I'm going. I'm going. Oh, murder. I'm not staying where I'm not trusted and not welcomed. I'm going. No! I've had enough of this, I can tell you. Now look what you've done, Ella Joe. Mother! Mother! 
that? Hey, go on, that's right. Take her side against me. I'm nobody here, I suppose. I'm one of the chappers pays the rent. And you can take your sweets. I don't want them after you've sucked them. I may be a dustman, I'm not a dustbin. What's all row about? Mum, what's up? It's your father. He's had one of his moods again. Oh, I thought it was summer up. If you don't come down, I shall come up and fetch you. You and who else? Come on, Sue, there's only one chance. What? I'm just about sick of you, I can tell you. Natter, natter, natter. So we've got to get a place of our own. Where? Well, anywhere. Anywhere, just so long as we can get a bit of peace and quiet. Do you know anywhere? <laughs> no. Here, I could ask Steve Hall. He might know of a place, him being on the housing committee. You could ask him. I bent pedal crank here tonight. Chap with a big car. Oh, cars. Oh, Sam, don't take on so. <laughs> oh, so. So, love, it's only that. I know, Sam. I feel the same way. Oh, what do you want? I was looking for a screwdriver, Sam. Is any good? Hey, no, no. <laughs> Hello, David. Lad, come on. There's not but time for a quick one before dinner. Mm -hmm. Where have you been, David? Out for a run. <laughs> what on earth have you got there? Well, it's a uh, dog. Yes, I can see that. Did someone give it to you? No, I bought it. You bought that? Well, don't be rude about him. He may be sensitive. What kind of a dog is it? It's a sort of, um, Alsatian. I think he's sweet. Uh. Mother, in the first place, he is a she. I think it's a horrid common thing. Oh. You can always tell breeding in dogs or humans. Well, I'm going to keep him anyway. Mongrel or no mongrel. Oh, David, what on earth for? Oh, uh, sentimental reasons. She blows. Another Monday gone. I wish it were Friday. Oh, well, you don't want to wish your life away, Sue. So. Oh, I don't know. Sam, I feel like dancing tonight. Let's go to town hall. Oh, sorry, Sue. I'd like to, but I've got committee meeting at club. Oh, you and your club. Don't you ever think of out else? Yes. Think of you and me getting a place. Oh, that? That's hopeless. Oh, but Sue... Oh, never mind, Sam. It's just that Monday feeling. I'll see you later. Hello. Hello. What are you doing here? Oh, uh, just passing. I see you've got your bike back. Yes, thanks. It's all right now? Aye, it's grand. Uh -huh. Doing anything this evening? I am knitting a scarf for a giraffe. Oh, <laughs> I thought you might like to go to the pictures. There's a very good one on the palace. Sorry, but I'm going to dance at Town Hall. Town Hall? They have dancers there. Why don't you go and find out? Hello. Well, if it isn't that man again. I've, uh, I've got a ticket for you. Thanks, but I can get my own. Oh, I thought that we might... I you... didn't say I was coming with you. Now, why do you always pick on me? Do I? Well, give us the ticket. Here's the money. No, I don't, don't want the money. It's all right. But I always buy my own. It's a habit I have. Oh, right, have it your own way. I've never known such a girl. Then your education hasn't begun yet. Don't you, um, change to go dancing? Oh, well, uh, well, yes, I do as a rule, of course. But, but uh... you didn't think it would matter here. Now, look here, I won't have that. I'm not a snob, even if you think I am. That's better. I like people who stand up for themselves. Well, are we going to dance? Of course. Just a minute, I'll leave my coat. Hiya, Frankie. Ain't you dancing? Don't look like it, does it? Come on, Frankie. Got to see a bottle about a glass. Room for little me? Sorry. This is strictly business. And uh, you're built for pleasure, see? Come on.
You dance very well. Let's have a drink, shall we? No, let's keep on dancing. Well, I still make a six bob short. Well, we can't take it anymore. Nearly through? Aye. Uh, can't make loan fund come out, though. Six shillings short, Nan. We've checked it a dozen times. Six shillings? Well, it was all right yesterday. Oh, oh, yes. I remember I took six shillings this morning. Change for the shop. Here it is. Well, that clears it all up, then. Uh, by the way, Steve, I've been meaning to ask you. You're on the housing committee. You don't know of a place, a house or flat or something? Well, I can't say off hand, Sam. I mean, it ain't easy. There's hundreds waiting. Anyway, I'll keep my eyes open. Who's it for? You and Susie? Well, uh, yes, that is the rough idea. I'll do what I can, Sam. I've been working out about the race, Sam. This chap, Bert Gardner, is as good as he says. I reckon we ought to save him for last sprint. Aye, right, perhaps we should. Well, good night, Steve. Good night, Sam. Good night, Steve. Good night, Poor Sam. <laughs> I'd like to see him and Susie settle down. Aye. I'll do what I can. Nan, there's so much I had to ask you. Yes? Charlie's gone to dance, hasn't he? Now, listen, Steve, that six shillings that was missing... Well? Well, all right, perhaps it was Charlie. I I'll speak to him. That young man needs more than a speaking to. What he needs is a... You know, Nan, you're much too soft with him. Oh, Steve, I don't know what to do for the best. Come on, I shall miss my last tram. I've got a car outside. All right, I'll put up with the car tonight. I've probably missed the tram anyway. Come on, Ada. You know, I hardly recognize you when you turned up tonight. Why? Don't you think my girls know how to dress up? I don't let's start that all over again. All right. You keep your mind on the road. I wasn't going to spoil it. Well, you know what I mean. Anyway, if you must know, I've got a boyfriend already. Oh, uh, engaged? Almost. But, uh, but not actually. Well, no. Then there's still a chance for me. There's Susie. All that I beat it. Good night. Oh, wait a minute. Susie, wait. Now what is it? You didn't say when I could see you again. That's right. How about a run next Sunday in the car? I'm going for a run next Sunday, but not in your car. Can I come? You? I'd like to see you. It's a road race out at Moorfell. Road race? Bikes, Gormless, bikes. Oh. If you can get yourself a bike, you can come along. It's public. I can't stop you. The tubers should be the size of... pullets eggs. When the tubers are larger, they may be cut. Look after mallows. These spawn mushroom beds. Good book, this, Sam. Only I ain't got no mushroom beds. No. Pot chrysanthemums for blooming cucumber frames. Pot chrysanthemums for blooming cucumber frames. Pot chrysanthemums for blooming, full stop. Cucumber frames should be carefully ventilated. Oh, I, I didn't see full stop. Now then, Arso. Hello, Dad. Still gardening. Mm. Hello, Sam. You waited up. Oh, I was just going to bed. What time do you call this? Half past twelve. What time do you call it? Nice time. Nice company. Aye, if you're interested. No, oh, come off it, Sue. Don't act the iron mighty. Dance was over at eleven. What happened? What is this, an inquest? If you like. You're in a nice, gentle mood, aren't you? Well, I was worried about you. You missed the last tram, I suppose. That's right. Did you have to walk? No, I didn't walk. Well? Well, what? Well, I'm entitled to know. Entitled? We're not wed yet, Sam Walters, I'd like you to remember. And even if we were, I shouldn't sit up half the night answering questions. I'll go to bed and sleep it off. No, nah, and I can do that too. Hmm. I hope you don't wake your granny. She always wants to start eating when she wakes up. Ah, there you are, Bert. All set? Uh, sorry I'm late. Oh, it's okay. 
You feel fit? A bit out of condition, but I expect it'll be all right. Hello. Hello, Ginger. Hello. Hey, Ginger. Will you keep an eye on our bikes? Oh, I want it to watch. Well, you can still watch and earn an ice cream and all. Here we are. Oh, well, if you put it that way, Mr. O. <laughs> well, now, lads, remember, we're a team. We'll save Bert till the last. Sid, after the first two miles, you try and make a break and we'll come in behind. Bert, uh, you stay back until I give you the go-ahead, right? Mm -hmm. Now, the idea is that we pace Bert and he saves himself. If it works out right today, we'll try it for the big race on Whit Monday. Yeah, right. okay. Well, good luck, lads. Hey, Sam. Put your back on the end here, Alf. I'm in charge today. Okay. Look after it. Leave it to me. Hello, Sue. Off to the races. I am late. Oh, I borrowed it from the gardener. He said I was coming on a bike. Did you call that a bike? What's wrong with it? I don't want the whole club laughing at me. Well, what's the matter? It goes, doesn't it? Does it? Well, when we get there, you keep it out of sight. I've got my reputation to think of. Come on, we're late enough already. Four, three, two, one, four! As usual, what's your fancy? I'd like to bother that new fellow, Bert Gardner. That's the could wheel is. It's a bet. Three. Three. Hi, Ada. I don't know that I'm speaking to you. Oh, I cry my eyes out. Anyway, just uh, shove off a bit, will you? Let the customer see it. Making a book again. I'll tell Sam. You know the clubs don't like it. Now, you wouldn't do a thing like that, would you? Because if you did, I wouldn't be able to take you dancing, would I? I couldn't afford it. I haven't heard you ask me yet. Now, you just stick around a bit. Anything might happen. Georgia Ludford, with the Redfield team. Five Bob. Two to one. Right. Two to one. Ah, hello, Frankie. Look who's here. Ah, he's come to pay his debts like a good little lad. I haven't had any luck. Honest, Mr. Martin, I I'm trying. He's trying, Frankie, trying. Would you say I was a patient man, Frankie? Aye, Dad, too patient. Too patient. What would you do if you was me, Frankie? I'd put on the pressure. After all, six quid, six quid. It's a lot of brass. Ah, it's a lot of brass. Tell you what, we'll give the kid a chance. A nice bike could wipe the slate clean, wouldn't it, Frankie? Ah, a nice bike. And there are just dunners of them, just lying around. Ah, you know, Frankie, I'd give six quid for a good one. Maybe ten bob over. Maniacs. Do you always ride as fast as that? Fast? I was taking it easy for your sake. Oh. Stack your bike and we'll watch from here. Take a party. Look, 
Wait for coming up. Oh, hello, Sue. You're a Eddie, where are you off to? Catch, Boos, come on, we'll miss it. Ooh. Where do you think you were going? All right, clear up. Well, we got fourth place. We wouldn't have got that if it hadn't been for Sam. What happened, Bert? You made a break. Yeah, I and... got cramped. Steve, I need a bit more training. Hey, my bike's been pinched. Hmm? I left it just there. It's gone. Are you sure, Alf? Of course I'm sure. I left it with Ginger. Ginger, I thought I told you to look after bikes. I did, Mr. All. I did. Well, were you here all the time? Well, I only left them just now. Only for a moment when Ray's finished. Oh, I see. Gosh, I'm sorry, Alf. Being sorry won't bring me bike back. Well, Alf, I think you'd best go and tell the police. You got bunked, Bert. Yes, I got cramped just as I was trying to crowd the speed on, out of condition. And that crosswind didn't help either. Aye. We never took that crosswind into account. Door, Charlie. All right, I'll get it. <laughs> Good evening, lad. Yes? I've come about the stolen bike. Yes? There's a chap by the name of Alf Pearson here. Yes, he's inside. Wait a minute, I'll get it for you. Yes, a lot of riders forget about the wind, but you've got to allow for it. Now, it can make all the difference. Now, if there is a crosswind... Alf, there's a copper outside to see you. It's about my bike. About time. Ask him to come through, Charlie. Well, uh, I'll be pushing along, chaps, now. What about these tactics? You were just uh, in the middle... None of time, but uh, I've got to get out early in the morning. Ah, let's go over in the corner. What's Bert want to go dashing off like that for? Never can understand that chap. Same as all Londoners. <laughs> you're always <laughs> making mysteries, Harry. Ah, oh, but you remember, Sam, that photograph I found of him in an old number at Cycling. Winner of that big race in 38. Aye, but Bert said it wasn't him, and the name was different. I know, I know, but face were the same. And how long did you leave him for? I mean, at the end of the race. I couldn't have been more than two or three minutes. I heard them cheering and I ran across. And when you got back, the bike was gone. Is there any chance of finding it, do you think? I don't know. There's been a lot of bicycle thefts lately. Too many. They're pretty smart, you know, the way they paint them up and alter them. They won't find it so easy to alter mine. How's that? Oh, they can paint it over, swap handlebars and all that. But they won't find it so easy to change brake cables. How do you mean? Look, I'll show you. You see, mine was a foreign make. The brake cables lead back inside the frame, like this. They'd have a job to alter that. No English bike's the same. I see. That's worth knowing. It's a clue, isn't it? These things take hours to dry here. I wish we got a place with a garden. I wish we didn't have to live up here at all. Well, I don't go much on it myself, you know that. Well, I don't see why we can't live in London. You'd be able to get a better job there and all, like you said you had before the war. It's my home, too. It'd be much better for Georgie as well. Oh, don't take on so, Ducks. It's just got to be this way, that's all. But why's it got to be this way? Well, it has, that's all. You must trust me for that. Good evening, Bill. Is Frankie about? Oh, he's out the back, Ada. Can I help you? Well, I just want a chain tightening. I'll take it through. Okay. Oh. 
Good evening. Good evening. I, uh, <clears throat> I want to buy a bicycle. Well, uh... Oh, well, uh... Of course, um... I'll keep you a moment. Now... Well, this is a reliable machine. It's the thing for business. Well, I, uh, I was thinking of something lighter, more suitable for uh, fast road work. Oh, I see. Mm. Uh, what about this one? Well, that uh, wouldn't hardly do for you, sir. It's uh, for a lady. Oh, I, I see. Uh, oh. yeah, yeah. Try this one. Yes, uh, this one should do me fine. No, uh, it's a bit too low on the frame. Now, look, uh, you wait here a minute. This one out the back might just do you. It's been done up new. I'll see if it's ready. Oh, there you are. Frankie, is that job ready yet? Aye, Dad. Transfers are done. Good. I've got just the right customer for it. There's a dance at Town Hall on Saturday, Frankie. I've got a date next Saturday. Look off it, will you? I've no time for dances. I think you ought to find time. Oh. Oh, you do, do you? Yes, for me. I know about one or two things that are going on around here. Oh? What, for instance? Oh, nothing. Come on, come on. Oh, I'm not scared of you, Frankie Martins. I don't think I am. What's going on? Bikes and things. Bikes that shouldn't be here. Oh, now, what do you want to say a silly thing like that for, eh? Why, I... Uh, supposing... Supposing I did take you to dance on Saturday night? Well? No, oh, all right. Meet me town all eight o'clock. Mm. You've got a good machine there, you know. That won't land you in any trouble. I'm sure. All right, thank you. Goodbye. Mind you don't catch your trousers. Oh, I won't. Ginger. Ginger, are you coming or not? Charlie, I, I can't come. I've got important business. Important oh, business? Don't talk wet. I'm not talking wet. I'm looking for Alf Pearson's bike, see? <laughs> now, I know you're daft. But you see, Charlie... Oh, no, that's a secret. What's the secret? Please, Charlie, promise not to tell. It was different from other bikes. Different? What do you mean, different? Well, you see, the brake cables go into the frame here. I've told a policeman about it. Don't tell anyone, though, will you, Charlie? We don't want them to know we've got a clue. Crush your heart. Come on, Ginger, you're wasting your time. Oh, hello, everyone. David! What do you think you're up to? And what on earth have you got on? <laughs> Just off for a spin. Cheerio. In front of everyone. In those clothes. Chipola, eh? I beg your pardon? Well, that's what we call beginners, Chipola. Oh, I see. You on your own? Yes, I was. Well, uh, why don't you join up with us? We're just uh, heading back to town. Thanks very much. I'd like to. <laughs> What's the hurry? We're training for championship. You're the Wakeford Wheelers, aren't you? Aye. How did you know? Saw you at the races last Sunday. What's your clue? Uh, I haven't got one. Oh, haven't you? You ought to join one, you know. It's more fun than riding alone. Yeah. 
you're pretty good for it, Chipola. Sign him up for club, Sam. Hi, how about it? Fix you up in no time. Subscriptions aren't high. Okay, if you think I'll do. It's hard if I can't have the program I want. I don't ask much, and when I do... You've got all blooming day to listen to music. When I come home, I like someone to make me laugh. I don't want to listen to Macaroni and his courtroom orchestra. Mantaroni, Dad, Mantaroni. I don't care if it's Winston Churchill. I like music hall. It's common. Well, I'm a common man, see? Don't shout, Joe. And what a thing to say. I weren't shouting. Mary, Willie, do you want music hall or thing of me jig? Uh -huh. Anything for peace and quiet. Right. Music hall it is. That's funny. Blinking set's packed up now. It were all right a minute ago. He's busted it. I never touched it. Well, nobody else has. Willie, did I touch it? Ah. Uh, you see? Come on, David. Oh, Mr. Bates, uh, this is David Howarth, the new chap. He's going to join our club. Oh, I do. Come in, Mr. Howarth. You Thank find you. us as we are, enjoying a quiet, peaceful hour together. Make yourself at home. Thank you. Well, this is Mrs. Bates, uh, Jill. Uh, hello, Sue. You might have given us a bit of warning, Sam. Well, uh, I didn't want to lose a new member. Uh, David, this is Susie Bates. Excuse She's me. She's a, a member of our club, too. How do you do? Sit down, David. I'll just go and get membership for him. Do you know anything about wireless? Ours is just packed up. Well, not much, but uh, let's have a look. Well, the light won't go on for a start. Where's all this go, David? Down here, up the floor, see? There. There you are. The lead. It's disconnected. Eve, well, however did that happen? See you Saturday, then. We'll meet at Clarion at about three. I'll be there. Hmm, can't see your cables, eh? That's neat. It's a continental idea. <laughs> I wouldn't know about that. Well, thanks a lot. Cheerio. So long. Sam. Sam. Hello, Steve. What's up? Sam, I've just heard of a couple moving out of a flat in Mason Avenue. Moving? I haven't any idea what it's like, mine, but it might be worth trying. When did they go? They went this morning. <laughs> the house belongs to the couple living downstairs, the name of Farrell. Thanks, Steve. Uh, do you think it's still going? Yeah, hey, I don't know, but I should get round there tonight if you can. I will. Thanks, Steve. Good luck, Sam. Here you go. Should be hereabouts, I should think. That must be it, Sam. It looks rather nice. Hi. Uh, Mr. Farrell. He's out. Oh, uh, well, uh, can't you tell me what time he'll be back? No, I can't. We're new to the place. We heard there was a flat empty. Oh, there were, but we moved on this afternoon. Oh, oh, I see. Thanks. I'm sorry, chum. Well, we tried anyway. Doesn't seem fair. Thousands of houses and not one for us. Oh, we'll find one, love. Don't you worry. Aye, if we live that long. <laughs> Back, Sam, do you think? Oh, I don't know, love. About uh, half past six, seven o'clock. All oh, right, I'll have everything ready anyway. Thank you, love. Hello, everybody. Hello, Susie. Hello, Dave. Glad you made it. Hey, that's not half a grand bike you got there, Sean. Do you know our nun runs this cafe? No. She's a kind of a mother to us, aren't you, love? This is David Arth. He's a new chap. Pleased to meet you. How do you do? Hey, Dave. You got no bottle in your carrier. Do I want one? You will, by gar, by the time you finish this afternoon. Oh, we've got some spare bottles in club, haven't we, now? Yes, I think so. Ginger, run and see if you can find a spare bottle for Mr. Howard, will you? Right oh. Hello. So you've joined the club, have you? Hello. Yes. I'm so glad. We'll go through Ludnam Foot and turn right at Pub, uh, onto Imoor. Then we'll fork right across roads to Oldham Mills and come back via Mythamroyd and Sarby Bridge. We can stop at Milldale Hostel for a cup of tea, and on way home, team can put in a bit of practice. There's a good stretch of road up there above Steckton, you know, and it's usually clear. Where's Charlie? You went up there. Charlie! I've got it. I've got it. Got what? The bike, Alf Pearson's bike. That new chap, he's got it. 
You're seeing things. It's self's all right. Will you keep an eye on it while I go for the police? Listen, Ginger, how do you know it's the same one? Of course it's the same. Look here, Ginger, I've got something to tell you. What do you do after I've got the bobby? You ain't getting no bobby. We're wasting time. They'll be off in a minute. You've got to listen to me. But, Charlie... You don't want me to go to prison, do you? What do you mean? I stole that bike. You? What for? Ginger, you've got to help me. See Susie's with a new boyfriend. What do you mean, new boyfriend? Oh dear, have I said so? What are you trying to get at? Nothing, nothing at all. Only I thought I saw them together at dance at Town Hall. What dance? I've never seen him at no dance. <laughs> no, because you weren't there. Here, are you trying to make trouble between me and Susie? Oh no, Sam. You know I wouldn't do a thing like that. No, wouldn't you? I thought you looked wonderful the other night. Why don't you always wear your hair over your eyes? Hmm? Talkative today, aren't you? Don't you like getting compliments? I heard you. Oh dear, what's the matter now? I suppose you thought you were very bright getting Sam to bring you to our house. <laughs> Did work out rather well, don't you think? Uh, I've stopped thinking about you. Oh, could I help? And you watch where you're riding. All right. Close. Voices. Try the side door. Go on. I thought I told you not to come round here again. But it's important, Mr. Martin, honest. Who is it, Dad? It's our little maid. Oh. It's about the bike. I... A new chap brought it to the club. Seems he's come about a bike, Frankie. A bike. Oh, why? We did buy a bike from him, didn't we? Don't you understand? Someone's sure to rumble it now. Rumble what? It was his bike, wasn't it, Frankie? Aye, that's right. You know it wasn't, Mr. Mike. You know I knocked it off. Well, I'm blessed. Hey, the young rascal. Now, isn't that just too bad for him, eh? Aye, just too bad. But you know what you told me at the races? Now, get this straight. This is a respectable shop, this is. If you've done out wrong, you better go and put it right. We don't like people who get into trouble and try and put the blame on us. No. We don't like them at all. And people like that should take care. Or else they'll end up more trouble. Well? Oh, it's no use. I'm for the high jump. There must be something we can do. I know I've got it. We've got to pinch back back again. Do what? Don't you see? I hate it. Get rid of it. We've got to destroy the evidence. Oh, no. Looks like a storm coming up. If we don't get me here wet, I'll frizz me perm. Do you think we ought to wait, Sam? Or put on our capes? Well, it may be heavy. Let's get in there and eat. Alright, come on everyone. Here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, sit here then, Ada. No spiders, they're all scream the place now. Oh, sit here then, Ada. No spiders on me. Now then, saucy. Sue. Would have to rain. Spoiled your ride, did it? What exactly does that mean? You seem to be enjoying yourself with that new fella. Come to that, you didn't seem to be having exactly a dull time yourself. I thought you said you'd never met him before the other evening. I didn't say so. And you didn't say that you knew him when I brought him round to our place the other night, either. That's right, I didn't. Well, was he at that dance or wasn't he? That's all I want to know. Why don't you ask Ada? What she doesn't know, she'll make up. Have you got your mouth organ, Sid? Hi. Come on, everyone, let's have a song. Ada, come and sit here. Not on that mucky floor. Well, it doesn't have to be the floor, does it? Well, we are coming on, aren't we? When Cobb Laden raised his was on the 9th of June. 1862 on a summer's afternoon. I took the bus from Danvers and she was heavily laden. Away we went along Collingwood Street, that's on the road to Bladen. Oh, lads, you shouldn't have seen us getting. Hasn't the folks of 
She's gone to. You two been having words? Aye, a few. Then she's gone home. I thought there was someone up between you pair of idiots. Rain stopped. Better make a move before it starts again. Hey, Sam, let's bash it off as far as first crossroads. Aye, good idea. Coming, Ali? Well, I have a go too. If you think you can keep up. Uh huh. Excuse me. <coughs> well, it's every man for himself. We'll meet you others at Lenton Crossroads. Oh, so long. Well, come on, the loiterers. Phew. A bit more of that and I'd have been bonked. Well, not that bad. But the makings of a racing man, I should say. Aye. Why don't you train with us? We could do with a good reserve. Good idea. Sam, what do you say? David trains with us as team reserve. Hmm, it's okay with me. Sue. Oh, you're back. Why did you belt off like that? Oh, don't say you missed me. Oh, now, Sue, I'm sorry if I... I see... don't want to discuss it, Sam. I'm tired and I think I've caught a cold. I'm going to bed. There goes nine of them, Frankie. What about your date? Date? Oh, Ada. Let's well, see how I stand. I'm 30 bob down. Well, Ada's at it. No girls worth 30 bob, eh, chaps? No fear. What's well, your deal, Dad? Oh, look here, Frankie. I think you'd better go. That girl could make things very umpty for us. Why? We got rid of the back. We're in the clear. What can she do? Good night, Ada. Good night. out so much on the bends. And you're working too hard. Here, yeah, you want to stroke the pedals round, chap. You know, not too jerky. Keep it nice and smooth. And uh, you want to use your ankles more. Oh, I don't know. He's coming on all right. Well, uh, let's practice tea break. Bert, you explain, will you? Well, all right. Go on now. Well, here's a rough idea now. This is our team, say, all in a bunch like that. Now then, the first man's doing all the work, see? Why, I don't get that. Because he's taking all the wind resistance. Others are just sitting on his tail. Huh? That's right, and if the place is hot, he won't be able to keep it up for long, see? So, every fifth telegraph bell, he drops back to the rear, and the second man takes his place, see? Now, then, the danger is this. Hello there. Hello, Mr. Hall. Hello, Mr. Jenkins. This is the bunch of chaps riding the Whitson Tide Championship. Aye, that's right. Good. What about a picture for our paper? Well, well, I don't see why not. How would you like us? Just as you are. No, oh, we don't want our photos to, not till we want don't something. Don't be silly. Yeah, well, so well we look a lot of clots if we lose, won't we, eh? Don't be daft. Hold it. Turn it up. Here, right on front page for the whole town to see. Well, at least it keeps him out of mischief. It's ever so much safer than that hearted car. <sighs> I bet there's a girl in it somewhere. 
Hello, everybody. Hello, Dan. Do you know where the key of the garage is? Yeah. Ah, oh, thanks. Seen this, David? No. <laughs> That's our racing team. They good practice the other day. Hmm. Quite good of me, really, don't you think? Good. David, the brace was rang up. They want you for their tennis party at Whitson. Ah, oh, I'm sorry, Mother. Won't be able to go. Going camping with the club. You're going to do what? Camping, Mother. You know, tents and things and uh, outdoor life. Very healthy. And ever so romantic. Hello. What's the matter with them? Hi, young Georgie. Good piece of meat. Oh, no? Bert, I forgot. You're in the news at last. What? What do you mean? Well, you've got your picture in the paper. Well, lorry's all ready, son. OK. OK. Uh, loiterers had better start at the same time. Hard riders can follow on later. Uh, we'll meet at Milldale Hostel for the evening. Right. Well, all set, man? Yes, we'll have a meal ready by the time you arrive. Good. But remember, this is an holiday for you, too. You're not doing all the work. Oh, never you worry about that. Uh, well, I'll keep you up to that anyway. See you tonight, John. Goodbye, man. Goodbye, Goodbye. 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 You come in there, Sully. Oh, no, she's a loiterer today. <laughs> I could show you both my back wheel any day. <laughs> you know, the trouble with these speech merchants, Susie, is that they never see the beauties of the countryside. They've always got their noses glued to front tyres. <laughs> Come on, the loiterers. Goodbye. You can't be good. Bring your bill. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, you know. Bye. our own poachers. Pass me the other tire lever, will you? Thanks. You know, I shouldn't really be talking to you. I know. I've had nothing but trouble since I met you. I know. Why don't you go back to your car? Because I'd much rather be here with you. Now, none of that. Well, that's what you wanted me to say, isn't it? Pass me the patches and the solution. What did you say? The patches and the solution. Yes, that's what I thought you said. You know, you look so beautiful when you say patches and solution. Oh, don't be so daft. <laughs> Here they come at last. It's about time to. Come on! Where have you been to, Ada? As if I didn't know. Well, here I am. Oh, uh, take Mr. Nan, will you, Ada? It's a bit heavy. Yeah, Wally, I didn't take that one along, too, chum, will you? What do you think I am? Go on, get out of it. <laughs> Watch out with that, you'll be breaking somebody's neck. All right, I've put him at him before. Hello, Georgie Porgy. It's time you were asleep, young man. What are you after? Isn't he tired? Go on, now you go to bye-bye like a good little lad. Not skulking, Nan. Looks good. 
<laughs> One of my specials. What's happened to Susie? She was supposed to be giving me a hand. Well, the last time I saw her, somebody was giving her an hand. With a puncture. <laughs> Must be a mighty big puncture. Ah, oh, that's what I've been thinking. Well, this is something like it, isn't it? Lovely. Champion. Ah, it's champion-like. You are daft. Thank you. You surprised me, anyway. I never thought you were cut out for this sort of thing. I was talking about being cut out. I'm trying to cut myself in. Come off it, love. Come off it. What about a drink? I'm thirsty. I think we ought to be pushing on. I think I deserve a drink after mending that puncture. Well, of course. Without your help, I could have done it in half the time. They had. Supposing the police have got hold of him. Once they trace that bike back to Martin's, get the old of Scotland Yard on me trail. All right? Sleeping away. <laughs> Baby's all right, Bert. I just peeked in. Oh, thanks, Steve. Not so you came, love? No. Are you? What do you think? Did you see Charlie and Ginger? Forget about Charlie and Ginger, Nan. They're all right. Come on, relax. Come, please. Mm-hmm. Hello, Sam. David and Susie not turned up yet? No. Nope. I hope there hasn't been an accident. Don't worry. It's no accident. time. And part, part of the, of the summer, summer too. And the only, only thing that I did that was wrong was to save her from the foggy, foggy dew. <laughs> <laughs> Look, no hands. Oh, David! Oh. <laughs> David, you all right? Oh, oh. <laughs> now that's enough of that. <laughs> oh, Susie. <laughs> Oh, Thank goodness we've got it. I never thought we'd find it in the dark. Oh, 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 oh sorry, Sam. Did we wake you up? Takes you a long time to mend the puncture, doesn't it? Well, as a matter of fact. Oh, you don't have to explain to me. You better turn in before you wake any of the others. Oh, you put our tents up. Aye. Well, still those were dodging column. Oh, look here, Sam. You're in there with Alf and Sid. And you're over there with Ada, Susie. Can you find your way, or do you want someone to lean on? Oh, Sam, Sam, you nasty old man. <laughs> yeah, let me help. Yeah, give me your back before you hurt someone. <laughs> Good night. Good night.
Sam? Aye? Have you and Susie fallen out again? Well, you could call it that, I suppose. Well, what's the trouble? Just don't seem to hit it off, that's all. What about this other chap? Oh, him. You know what he's asking for. And he'll get it. You know, you want to be a bit firmer with Susie, Sam. Assert yourself. <laughs> I get pot calling cattle black. Why, what do you mean? Well, you and none, of course. Oh, well. I never set up to be one of world's great lovers, you know. Charlie, the game's up. What do you mean? Alf Pearson's rumbled. He's found his bike. I found it. I found it. Found what? A bike. That new fellow, what's his name? David Howard had it. Now, take it easy, lad. Oh, he's got sunstroke. No, honest, I know it anywhere. I was getting Sid's bike. He said I could have it to fetch milk. And there was my bike, lad. Of course, it's been done up a bit. Well, come on, we better go and have a look. Aye, I think we'd better hide. my bike and carry on like that. Now listen, Alf, don't start making accusations till you're certain. But I am certain. We'll see. Now here you are, look at this. If you think it's gone. Oh, he can't have. Taz? <laughs> I said it was sunstroke. Hey, look! The bike! Yeah, come on! No, no, stop it! It's all a mistake! Come on, after him, everyone. He's making for top road. Steve, Sid, come on, we we'll let him off cross bridge on our bikes. It's all right, Sam. Leave lad to me. We'll sort all this out when we get back to camp. It's all right. We've got him. <laughs> Listen, lad. Pull yourself together. You can tell us all about it later on. Come on, lad. Good book. Oh. Sorry if I made you jump. Well, make yourself at home. Thanks. Well, we caught the thief. Who was it? Charlie. Charlie Ritchie? Yep. I don't understand it. Poor man. I must get back. No, wait a minute, Sue. Oh, later, David. Oh, forget about Charlie for a moment, can't you? There's something I must tell you. You mean about the bike? No, no, not about the bike. About you. I haven't the foggiest idea what you're talking about. Oh, please, Sue. I'm serious. That's a change, anyway. Oh, shut up, can't you? Sue, darling, will you marry me? David, you idiot. Oh, I mean it, I tell you. I've never felt like this about a girl before. Please, David. I love you, I tell you. I love you. All right. 
No need to shout. But you see, look, David, there's something I ought to explain. Aye. And you'd better explain it to me, too. All right, Steve, you carry on. Well, go on. Go on. Don't let me interrupt you. After all, I'm one of the chap you're supposed to be going to marry. Oh, Sam, don't be daft. Don't show yourself up. Oh, so I'm showing myself up, am I? Well, what do you think you're doing, letting every Tom, Dick and Harry Morley were around? Sam! Well, you weren't playing marbles, were you? Now, cut it out, Sam. It's quite simple, really. You're dead right. Too simple. Now, listen to me for a moment, will He's you? He's no use talking to him, David. He doesn't want to listen. If you'll only be reasonable. Oh, shut up, you. It's Susie I'm speaking to. Yes, I can hear that. But I'm not sure that I like your tone. Well, really, now. That's just too bad. Sam, stop it. So you don't like me tone, eh? Well, what are you going to do about that? I'm only asking you to be reasonable. Now, that's all. Well, how's this for a start? <coughs> oh, will you two stop it? Yes, I was afraid you'd do that. Oh, well. Sam, stop it. Oh, David. Look, can't we be civilized about this? Oh, Sam, stop it. Get up, you. I haven't finished with you yet. I think I'll stay here, thanks. If you want to make a fool of yourself, carry on. You won't take a reasonable explanation. Explanation? I saw quite enough, thank you. You going to get out? Uh -uh. Don't think so. Quite comfortable here, thanks. Da. <laughs> and then you sold the bank to Bill Martin, eh? Yes. It's a serious offence, stealing a bank. They send people to prison for less. I didn't know it was our spike honest. Well, that doesn't make it any better. Did Bill Martin put you up to this? Yes. Oh, well, that is, not exactly. Oh, I see. Right. Now, listen, Charlie. Go and wait in your tent, and don't leave camp, mind. OK. We'll have to tell the coppers, you know, Steve. Of course, Bill Martin's the real culprit, you know. Aye, that's trouble. We shall have to report Charlie to get at Martin's. I'm not so sure. They'll only say they didn't know a bike was stolen. Anyway, we've got no evidence. Steve, about Al Spike. Later, Ada, we're busy. Well, it was only that I was there when Bill and Frankie put Charlie up to stealing it. What? You heard them? Yes, at Mossfell Races. I, I would have said something before, only I wasn't sure. Just the very thing. Ada's our witness. Would you say the same in court, Ada? Give evidence against Frankie Martin. Aye. I'd be delighted. But what's going to become of you, Charlie, if you go on like this? I said I won't, haven't I? All right, then. We'll say no more about it. Up off, you two youngsters. I've got so much to say to Nan. What is it, Steve? Sit down, Nan. Nan, I'm sorry, but... Well, the committee's been having a chat about this business, and we feel we've got to go through with it. We don't want to, but we don't see any other way. But it was the Martins put Charlie up to it, Steve. I know, Nan, but you see, in order to get at them, we've got to take the case to court. We've got to put a stop to this bag stealing. But he's only a kid yet, Steve. Old Sammy must have known what he was doing. Everyone feels sorry for you, Nan. Sorry? Does that help? Well, you must admit, lad's got out of hand. You know, what he needs is a man. Oh, don't keep on about that, Steve. His father's dead and I'm not a man. No, but I am. I, I mean, well, Nan, if you and me... Well, oh, Nan, you know what I mean. Let's get married. Then I could keep an eye on lad. Oh, so you want to marry me so you can keep an eye on Charlie? No, Nan. I want to look after you both. Steve, you silly old thing. Here we are, Bert. Sam? Well, just a look, lads. Just look who's here. Excuse me, lady. Yeah. Well, look, uh, don't do anything now. Just keep your eyes open. Police will deal with them in the proper way later. Charlie, look after the bags, will you? Oh, me? Yes, you. And hurry up now. Thanks, Steve. By the way, dear, how are you doing? Hiya, Frankie. How's tricks? Oh, not so bad. Look, I'm sorry about the other evening, but I was held up. I wouldn't let a little thing like that upset you. No, honest, I'm sorry. But how about another date? I'll turn up next time, I promise. <laughs> You'll turn up all right. So long, Frankie. Worried about Bert? Heavens, no. 
He'll be all right. I always thought Londoners were talkative, but he doesn't seem to have much to say for himself. No, he never says much. <laughs> It'll be all right if we keep to our plan. Stick together and take it easy for the first 40 miles. Aye, but not too easy. <laughs> Steve. It must be all set to start. I wish they'd hurry up. You know, I reckon we stand a good chance today. The lads have been riding very well lately. Is your name Herbert Gardner? Well, what about it? I must ask you to come along to the police station. <laughs> that won't do you any good, neither. Better come along quietly. What is all this, Bert? Sorry, Sam. Come on, in the car. Look out there, I hope. I'm coming through if you don't mind. I want to get through to my friend. What's your body? What's the matter? Hey, Sorry, hey, quick! What's up, Bert? Those cops have taken him. There's a deserter. A dis... No. What are we going to do? Well, I'll have to go and talk to them. A deserter? Hey, poor Helen. Poor Wakeford. That's booked up our team. I know. David's reserve. Now, listen. Tell him to go and change at once. Now, Ollie, I've got to try and get through to Bert. OK. Excuse me. Excuse me, please. Excuse me. David! David, quick! You got the race! What's up? What's happened to Ben? Can't explain now. David, quick, come on. I'll help you to change that. Right. Come Excuse on. Yeah. Bert! Bert! Excuse me, Constable. What's it all about, Bert? Can't I do anything? Oh, no, Steve. No, I don't think so. I'm really rather glad it's all over. But this, what happened? Oh, well, it's a long story, Steve. I, I've been on the run for three years. Oh, I had very good reason, but... I don't suppose that'll help me very much now. But listen... Go on, jump. Oh, Steve, the worst of it is that... Helen never knew. I, I never told her. Would you tell her? Don't worry. We'll look after her and the kitty. Do all we can. Thanks, Steve. You are. Don't worry, Bert. Come on, you back, sir. Look out for your feet. Hurry up. They won't hold him much longer. That's the one. It's Bert. Is the right? Yes, hello. Here, David. Here's your number. Now, don't get excited. Feeling all right? Good. Tight yourself, will you? Come on, Dave. Over. Wait a minute. Just a minute. to go yet. 60? <laughs> Let others make faith. I don't reckon real race will start before 10 miles from home.
punch now. Pass him on next corner. a bit, but, well, I hope it'll suit him. It's nice of you, Dave, to have taken all this trouble. Not at all. Only heard about today. Whatever you do, Steve, don't let Sam know that I've had anything to do with this. I won't. Good. I'll push off now. David, mm -hmm. I think it's very decent of you. You know, I always thought you had an eye on Susie yourself. Did you, Steve? She's lots of fun, but, well, I guess I'm just not the marrying sort. Look out, Sam. Okay. Tell me if they like. I will. What's this all about, Steve? Oh, evening, Sam. Uh, wait a moment, you'll soon find out. Susie. Well, what's she? Steve, I got a note and... What well, so did I. Steve, what is all this? Well, it's quite simple. You asked me to find you a place and, well, I think I found it. Here's key. But, Steve, you don't understand. We're not this going... Is, uh, not grand, mind you. Anyway, take a look for yourself. Steve, it's only fair to explain. Look, I don't want any explanations. You better make up your minds quick because it'll be too late tomorrow. We're wasting our time. Well, we can't hurt Steve's feelings now. He's taking a lot of trouble. We'd better just look round. All right. Look at that. Rotten. Oh, that's nothing. Soon fix that. A couple of screws. 
not a bad range. Mookie, you'll we'll polish up all right. Ceiling needs a bit of doing up. Aye, and the walls. Well, paint's best for them. A good hard gloss, then you can wash them as often as you want to. It's not much garden. Oh, well, anyway, you'd have wanted flowers and I'd have wanted cabbages. We could have half and half. Sue, do you know what you said? What, son? You said we. You said we could have half and half. Well? Oh, Sue, we are a couple of gormless idiots. I thought we weren't speaking. We're not. Mm -hmm.